I go to the movies, if you can even believe it. And it was, uh, it was the action movie. Oh no, it got dark. I was not expecting that. We gotta keep that on. <laughs> and, uh, I go to the movies and it was, uh, the, the action movie that was, and it was the funny movie. And it was called, I am bad boy all of my life. And, uh, it stars, uh, it's, it stars the guy from Martin and the guy from The Fresh Prince. And they are policemans, uh, for the third time. Now, I wasn't sure about that, so I had to look it up. But this is the third movie, because I thought maybe they were doing a little play on it with Bad Boys for Life. You know, I thought maybe that was what was going on, but it isn't. And, uh, I did watch the other two movies. I don't remember really anything about it. But, I know they existed. And, uh... <laughs> uh... I, I obviously remember the scene where he's pretending to be, uh, that girl's, uh, uncle. Or whatever it is. And the guy comes up to, to be on a date. And he's acting... Like a gangster. <laughs> and Will Smith, he was usually all nice and clean with everything he was doing at the time. So then uh, it was it was shocking. It was like, oh my. The the nice sweet Will Smith is is a potty mouthed McGee. But uh yeah. So this is the third one and, and like, you know, with the <laughs> with the uh, the the Terminators and the Rambos and the Rockies and all that. It's like, we're old now. <laughs> this is the movie where we're old. <laughs> uh, but I think this one kind of did a pretty good job with it. Where it was, <laughs> where, uh, it was still pretty funny. And the the dynamic of it is Will Smith's character is like, I'm not that old. I'm going to keep being the policeman and doing all this stuff. And Martin, uh, Martin's character, he's all like, no, I'm very old. I'm old and I cannot be an action man anymore. I need to sit in my recliner. <laughs> so that's kind of the story with that. And they're like, uh... I need glasses. <laughs> but they're even then they're still doing crazy action stuff, which is which is silly. <laughs> which is impossible for even really healthy people. Very unlikely they're doing any of this. But that's the way those movies are, you know? They're kinda silly. They're over the top. It's kind of the point. So they were doing that and uh I should uh, I should really start rewatching some of the old movies, you know, because I can't really say if this is better than the other ones, but I I, th I enjoyed it pretty well. I mean, it was funny. I I laughed <clears throat> genuinely. I, I I didn't just laugh, uh, you know, man, this is awkward and bad, but uh, I laughed. I thought there was genuine, ha ha, funny moments. So I did a good job with all that. They or I did a good. I didn't have anything to do with this movie. They did a good job with all that, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, oh, and there was parts of the movie that I was shocked. I was like, "Whoa!" I would not think they would have did that. And then there was stuff where they did, and I was like, "Whoa!" I don't understand why he did that. <laughs> So there's there's good shocks and there and there's uh, some bad shocks, but uh, <laughs> uh, and they kind of do the dynamic where they bring in a young team and they're like we're young and cool and you're old and dumb, you know, which they do in a lot of these old people coming back movies. Uh, and I wouldn't say it, it was that good in this movie. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, lots of movies have been doing it. Like that Shaft movie did that. And it's just... Well, just... 
pretty much all movies where they're bringing back somebody old or doing that same story. It's kind of like, uh, we get it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, but, uh, some of the action stuff was cool and funny. Some of the action stuff was funny, but it's just, it, but it, it is supposed to be over the top. There's really over the top stuff, especially when you get to the end. It's just like, everyone needs to be dead. Everyone should be dead now. But obviously, if it was being realistic, they wouldn't have even gotten that far. So, <laughs> you just kind of got to set that aside and be like, uh, this is an over the top crazy action movie and just accept it but uh uh oh uh I don't, it, it probably won't, wouldn't be a shock to anybody really but uh Will Smith is a much better actor than Martin Lawrence <laughs> And part of that could just be that uh well will William Smitherson he uh he continued with his craft in the acting world and he's been consistently doing it and stuff like that. And the old Martin has taken some time off. He had a funny little bit <laughs> in that beach bum movie. But other than that, he hasn't been doing anything. <laughs> but uh, but he and he's good at comedy stuff and he was a comedian before he got into acting so i guess you know that that kind of makes sense but whenever he's doing something serious i'm like wow that's not that's not that great and especially there's this one scene where will smith is being real intense you know and it's like he's acting he's doing all this stuff in his face and in his eyes you know and doing the real good work and Martin Lawrence is kind of, you can see the most of his acting he can do is he puts his eyebrows together. <laughs> it's the best he can do, you know, in the opposite shot. <laughs> so it's like, oh, hmm. <laughs> it almost, because uh, Martin, I would say, is underacting. It makes it look like Will Smith is overacting, even though I think Will Smith is doing what he's supposed to do. <laughs> but, uh, so there's, there's that. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I thought it was, I thought it was a fun movie. I was entertained. I mean, I, this isn't going to go on anyone's best, best lists. It might it might go on some lists that are like uh uh surprising <laughs> Sup supr better better than it had any right to be lists or something you know it's like oh it it over it overperformed of what i thought <laughs> so yeah so yeah uh the bad boys the bad boys for life that's pretty good. <laughs>